Hi everyone! Welcome to the Cytron Uno tutorial with favorite platform. For your information, Cytron Uno is a local version of Arduino Uno starter kit which uses the original Arduino Uno originated from Italy. Yes, this is Cytron version of Arduino Uno and we call it City Uno. As you might have known, Arduino is very simple and straightforward to use microcontroller platform with standard mainboard, easy to use IDE, and plenty of examples. I am pretty sure you will enjoy playing with this Arduino and we are also eager to move on to the next session with you. Please don't skip this video. Ta-da! All the tutorial components can be purchased from www.citron.io. For starters, we kindly recommend to get these two components, starter kit for Citron Uno and Citron ESP8266 Wi-Fi Shield. Let's support our local products. Please visit link at the end of this video for more details. Stay tuned. Without further delay, let's proceed to the steps to configure and set up your lovely laptop with Citron Uno. Hello guys, this is Chikun from Favorite, and this is an introduction to your first Arduino project. If this video tutorial is not quite up to your speed, feel free to refer to our PDF tutorials using the given links below. Now, I assume that you have already watched the video introduction on how to assemble your Arduino bread and your breadboard, but before we start, we're going to have to get ourselves a few tools first. Now, one of the things you're going to have to use in our project is the Arduino IDE. So go to your browser and type Arduino IDE, press enter, go to Arduino software, and look for the latest version of Arduino IDE, and click. Click on the Windows installer if you're using Windows. And click here, just download. So after you're done, you double click the program and you should come up with a window like this. At this point, just click I agree, click next, install everything, and um, and we wait. <laughs> All right. So after you're done, click close, and now you're gonna get the uh, you're gonna get some files from our GitHub. 
and uh, just follow this link at https github.com slash favorite slash my first Arduino project or you can click the link below. At this point, you look at the uh, clone or download big green button and uh, click it and click download zip and you wait. So once you're done downloading, just go to your, um, your zip file and unzip this, extract all, click extract, and you should see this folder. Going inside, you should see four folders, which looks exactly the same as what you get on our GitHub page. At this point, you click on the first one, get temperature, and double click on get temperature.io. On double clicking, you should see a window like this. And you should see these codes like this. Uh, but before we go any further, um, you need to right click your on Windows 10, you right click here and you click device manager. And then under uh, ports, you should see this. If you if you see multiple um, multiple entries, then uh, remove your Arduino, uh, unplug your Arduino from your computer, and you should see this. Uh, you should see it refresh, and it should not appear. And then reconnect it back to see which port appears. Uh, in our case, it's a USB serial port. COM3. So COM3 is the port which our computer will be transferring files to our Arduino board. So back to the code. Um, this code is prepared by our wonderful guys at Favorite to help you um, to help introduce you to coding on Arduino. So um, to get you started, first click verify. And then go to tools, select your port, make sure your port is COM3, like you've checked on the device manager just now. You select your board um, from this, this drop down menu. Uh, in, the, in our case, it's Arduino Uno, so I click this, but depending on your board's manufacturer or your model, it could change. So do check that before you um, proceed. So after you've verified the code, uh, click upload, and this should upload your code onto your board. And then we wait here. And when it says done uploading, you can click on the serial monitor and uh, change your the transfer speed to 9600 volts. In this, uh, and then you should come up with this window which says press to get temperature at which you press the button on your breadboard and voila, temperature 26 degrees Celsius. And there you have it. This is your um, first Arduino project, but not so fast. We, uh, in the next segment, we're going to show you how you can connect to the internet and upload those readings. Next, we're moving on to the second part of the code. So go on to your 2.Wi-Fi connection folder and inside you should see this. Double click, double click 2.Wi-Fi connection.io and you should be you should see this window which takes some time to initialize. <clears throat> inside is the code which allows your Wi-Fi shield, which is attached onto your Arduino board, to connect to your Wi-Fi. So over here under SSID is where you input your Wi-Fi's name. Um, give an example of my, uh, my Wi-Fi. And over here is where you type the password. Uh, uh, my Wi-Fi123. And then once you're done, once you're done with this, um, you click verify.
and then you click upload. But before you click upload, make sure that your serial monitor is turned off because your serial monitor uses the same port as the one which your computer uses to transfer code onto your board. So if it's open, you can't transfer your code. So close it before you click up. There you go now. So once you're done uploading, click on your serial monitor. And once again, change your transfer speed to 9600 volts and your Arduino board will automatically connect to the Wi-Fi according to your settings. And now you see that you're done and it should output this. If you can read this, it's working. And next, we will be moving on to the third part of the code. Next, we navigate to the tree.favorite platform folder. Inside, you should see this tree.favorite platform.io. Double click this. And through the magic of favorite platforms REST API, you can, you can track your temperature readings, which you have sent to our platform. Over here, you see the string API key. And um, this API key is where you put your API key in so that your, your readings get sent to the right account. And where do you get your API key? You go to your favorite platform, which is uh, platform.favorite.com slash login. You put your, um, your user password. And over here, you see account setting and this is your API key. So last but not least, we move on to the fourth and final folder, 4.complete code. And over here, double click on 4.complete code.ino. So let me just talk about this code a little bit. It's basically a combination of whatever we've shown you so far. It allows you to um, collect temperature readings. It allows you to connect to your Wi-Fi using the Wi-Fi shield. It also allows you to upload your reading through the magical wonders of favorite platforms REST API service. So here is the complete code. Under SSID, uh, over here, type my Wi-Fi, because it's your Wi-Fi, and uh, your Wi-Fi, therefore, your password. Yes, and um, before moving forward, um, let's go back to the platform. So in the dashboard, <coughs> can see these uh, you can see projects if you don't want to use your default project you can go here have your um, give yourself a cool project name and uh, it's cool so that was a the description and then it's true exactly because it's cool and that's true um, so over here uh, go into your devices and copy this uh, the developer ID device default and keep it for my case and you go back to your code and scroll down to um, data stream for data stream and you should see insert your device id from favorite platform here so insert your device id from fav favorite platform Here and um, and now we go back to the platform. We go to the account setting, grab this API, and we paste it over here. Uh, it's not one two three four. It's way longer than that. So I just paste it here. So once you're done, verify it. Now ignore all these uh, red stuff, red errors and stuff because uh, these are warnings, you know, errors. And once you're done, click upload. Make sure that your serial monitor is switched off. Anyway.
So once you're done uploading, um, click on your serial monitor and you should see this, this console output that is quite similar to the second, the second code snippet that we gave you. So over here, once you see this, uh, this long bar of asterisk, you can click the uh, button and it should, and what do you know, it's 26 degrees temperature and then it will start sending the data to the platform. And anytime now, anytime now, and voila, data set. Took about 14 seconds for that. Uh, of course, if you feel like feeling like it, you can always press the button again, and we will send data again. But if you go back to our data stream, you should see that, oh, at 9.01 p.m., um, it was 26 degrees. And And when you move on to the dashboard again and go into graphs, we see that we got no graphs. So uh, we have to make a cool graph. Let's make a cool graph. And graph type is 9, device mode is device, the default device. Y label is temperature. And the create, oh, don't forget to create. create. And you can, as you can see, Oh, um, just now it was 26, and after that it was 27. Click that again. And then it was 27 just now. Uh, a few moments ago it was 30 degrees, and then last week it was 28 because I pressed it last week. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, also, things you can do you can go into rules, and as you can see, I've created a rule that says. Uh, um, no, let me just delete this. Let me just show you. So let's create a new rule, right? So this is a cool rule. And of course, cool description. Uh, device name, device default, data field, its temperature. It is based on what you have sent to the server. So if you go back to uh, if you go back to data stream, you can see temperature. So this is the one we're gonna copy. So okay, back to rules. Um, cool graph, uh, cool, um, cool description. Device name, the field is temperature, and then over here say uh, temperature is less than, uh, it's more than uh, 30 degrees. Then send email to uh, email like this. Oh. It's not my email. It's my email. Com. Fortunately, my email is not cool. I should have a cool word. Never mind. Okay, so message would be um, it's too hot. Please um, uh, drink more water. To be cool. So, to create, and there you have it. And once it reaches over 30 degrees, and then uh, once the data is sent to the uh, to our platform, it will pass it. If it's more than 30 degrees, and it will send an, it will send an email to your email telling you that um, you need to drink more water to be cool. So yeah, so there you have it. This is uh, this is the basic introduction to your first Athena project. If you have any issues, um, just leave your comments down below and. Um, uh, if you have any problems, you can just message us at the message me at uh, cklong at favorite.com. And um, until then, I'll see you guys. Ciao.